Hey guys, I'm here reviewing Arteza's new metallic watercolors. It's a thing of 24. They're half pans. Here are the colors. You could pause and take a look. They do come in a metal box and they do come with a brush. I have already taken these out and I took out the brush and then I put it back in the box to put aside and I forgot to include the brush with it. But it is a water brush and I highly recommend their water brushes. They're really good. They have great barrels so you can put quite a bit of water in them. I really enjoy them and I've reviewed them before, probably a year ago. So here's the little pan. They come individually wrapped and you just pop them out and I was having trouble but it's more me than the the packaging and then you just peel this off and there is the color and you put it back in its spot beautiful you get a this tells you the directions on how to do a gradient swatch I didn't do that but you get a white one and a black one which I thought was pretty cool with all the colors listed and the colors that are listed are in that order in the pan so I did that off screen I dried them so any sheen you see that's how it looks when it's dry I have to say when I was doing this, I the first three columns, I'm like, oh man, I don't know if I'm going to like these on uh, black, <laughs> black uh, watercolor paper. But then I hit the lemon yellow and the plum purple and I'm like, oh yeah. And then from there, it just went really well. And I actually end up liking the how they perform or look on the black cardstock over the white. Now, I don't have black card, um, I'm saying cardstock, but watercolor paper. This is what I'm going to use today. 100% cotton, Arteza watercolor paper, and this is a stamp set I'm going to use. It is Miss Ink Smoking Caterpillar. It is a reference to Alice in Wonderland. I've never seen Alice in Wonderland. Um, don't shoot me. But Miss Ink came out with a big collection, um, all Alice in Wonderland stamps, and I just purchased this stamp because of the mushrooms so it has two different types of mushrooms I thought it was really cool and I don't have any stamps that are mushrooms so the caterpillar and the mushroom are separate but I did I thought the caterpillar was cu cute so I went ahead and stamped him on top of the mushroom I've stamped them out on to that Arteza 100% cotton watercolor paper with some VersaClaire Nocturne ink and as you can see on the bottom, my finger is slowly smearing the ink. This is very slow drying ink, and I was just smearing it. But I do take my e, um, Tombow eraser, erase it, some of it, and um, the rest you can't see. So I don't have any black color. Uh, I keep saying when I say cardstock, I don't have any black watercolor paper. And so I did look on Arteza's website. I didn't find any. I was looking on my phone, so I need to look and see if they have any on um, on my computer because it's easier to navigate. But if they don't, I will be ordering some from Amazon. Amazon has some, but with the delay in shipment, I don't know when it'll be here. But my goal is to create a galaxy sky with these metallic watercolors on black watercolor paper. I'm hoping in my mind it's beautiful you know with my talent I don't know if it'll happen but um, I just thought they really swatched really pretty on that black watercolor paper. Now you could probably use cardstock if you don't really drown your paper um, but I really want to want to try the black watercolor paper so we'll see. Um, there is also while I'm coloring this still there's also a coupon code to save 10% if you're interested it is for a limited time over at Arteza so definitely go check them out if you're interested as always I do recommend their products I have many videos on Arteza and um, I've always enjoyed everything I've worked with so I'm just trying to add some dimension some shadowing darker spots on my mushrooms here just to give the image some depth so it's not so flat. Um, I think these would be beautiful for florals as well. I don't really have any big floral stamp sets that I haven't, um, I maybe have one, but I've already made two videos with it, so I, I was hesitant to use it again. So, um, and I really wanted to use this, this stamp set because it's really cute. But I, I liked how all this came out. It's a very soft, look. Um, there aren't, being this is a new stamp set, there aren't many inspiration projects out there. So I was going off kind of what the design team did and all of theirs were very soft looks. Not all, a few of them. 
Um, so that's kind of what I was going for and these worked perfectly for that. Some colors I do like be better than others. Um, typically, obviously, the darker colors I like a lot more than the lighter colors. There's some really pretty iridescent, but again, on white cardstock, you're going to not have the best performance as you would on black watercolor paper. I know I just said cardstock, but um, I'm like I said, I know I keep saying it, but I'm I'm looking forward to the black watercolor paper because I think that's where these metallic watercolors are going to shine. So here I'm going in, I did dry it, and then I go back in to kind of add some layers and darken some colors. Just really pretty. And look how beautiful they look in the pan. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take this like light, I don't know the exact color name, but it reminds me of like a light mint. And I'm gonna just color the, the, the whole background to get the whole background a nice sheen so there isn't a lot of white space. and then go ahead and dry it. Oh, before I do that, I in a moment here, you will see me, I'm gonna go ahead and add some splatters. So I take the black watercolor and I water up my brush and then I do kind of dry it off a bit. Um, and here I'm just splattering that black. And I know some of it, because it is wet, some of it kind of lightens up and turns gray, but some of the splatter did stay nice and black. And then here I'm taking gold and doing the same thing. And in person, it looks really pretty. So I go ahead and add some fun foam to the back because this is watercolor paper and I saturated the whole thing. So I wanted to make sure that the dimension I was giving it covered the whole surface. So fun foam is great for that. This sentiment is from my pile from Tailored Expressions. Simple strips, I think is what it's called. Here, I have not added these sequins. I used to use them all the time, but I have not added them to a card in a long time. So I pulled them out. They're pretty pink posh, clear sparkling sequins, something like that. I hope they're still available because like I said, I haven't used them in probably a year. And I add quite a bit to the card to give it some sparkle. And then that is it, that will complete this card. So absolutely love the metallic watercolors. I think they performed really well. They looked really pretty. I love the sheen on the card. You can really see it here. Um, I am definitely looking forward to trying out some black watercolor cardstock and trying my best to make a galaxy sky. So stay tuned for that video. Like I said, I don't know when um, I'll get the order of the black paper, but um, I definitely want to try it. Even if it's a fail, we're going to do it. <laughs> so let me know what you think. Um, don't forget about that coupon code down below and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.